Oh my god, how is that gonna fit inside? Wow. Oh my god, it fit. After a fun couple days taking in Athens, we jumped in a cow ourselves to get to the port of Piraeus to catch the Adriatic Sea and Greek Gems cruise with Virgin. The waiting area in Piraeus is definitely a bit less luxe than it was in Miami or even Barcelona, but thankfully we weren't there for very long. Here we go! Right when we got on board the ship, I started to notice little design details that make the resilient lady slightly different than the valiant lady, but the ship is pretty much laid out the exact same as the valiant lady and the scarlet lady. So if you've been on either of those, then you will feel right at home. Wow. Welcome back. We are going on yet another Virgin Voyages cruise. This will be our third Virgin Voyage in the span of the last little over a year. I'm so excited because we are setting sail today on the Brazilian Lady, and I'm here with two of my other girlfriends from my travel group, The Babes That Wander. We are a diverse group of women who travel together. We just got on the ship. The boarding process was super easy. I hope this video gives you an idea of what it's like. I'm also gonna give you some tips and tricks on how to make your Virgin Voyage the best that you can. My first pro tip is right after you get on board the ship, log onto the Wi-Fi immediately and start booking the things that you wanna do. You should have already booked all your reservations in advance, but there's certain things like the shows and the fitness classes, some of the other events on board the ship. You can't book until you actually get on the ship and get on the Wi-Fi. For some of those things, you wanna just move as fast as you can because a lot of the fitness classes book up quickly. For example, the bungee class books up so fast. I did that last time on our Caribbean cruise. It was a lot of fun, but you just gotta be really proactive. I'm gonna take you all on a little cabin tour. So this is the Sea Terrace cabin on the Resilient Lady. When you walk in, you have your luggage storage area with your closet space. There's a curtain here so you can close it if you don't want to look at all your stuff. You got the button for them to come clean your room and the button for do not disturb. Your life jackets, some shelf space, a safe, and some drawer space. You got four drawers, more little space down here. Nice little full length mirror so you can admire your fabulous vacation fits like you do. There's also this one on this side just in case you need to check it out twice. Here we have the bed. It's really comfy. We sleep so well in this bed. You can actually have this bed configured into a couch during the day. If you ask your crew members, they'll come and do it for you. The TV, this whole little space right here and an additional little drawer space, a chair, plenty of charging space. The thing I love about the Virgin cruise ships is they have like the European ports. They also have US ports and they have like a bunch of USB ports everywhere. So if you're an American and you might've accidentally forgot your adapter. You don't have to worry about it because you'll be fine. Husband with sushi. Yeah. And I don't know why, but it felt like a Coke. Anyway, this is the mirror. You got a little stool here or a little shelf space and you got your mini fridge where you can store your two bottles of wine that you can bring with you on the cruise. They have water for you every day. The bathroom, you know, it's small, but gets the job done. And a little rain shower. And the iconic red hammock and the chairs. And the view. And that's the room tour. Hello, hello. Welcome aboard Virgin Voyages. Okay, one thing that's really cool to grab for any cruise you might be on are magnetic hooks. You can get these from Amazon. They come in different strengths. We'll link these below. It comes with a pack of like 10 or something like that, but all the walls are metal. So you can just stick your hook right on there. Huh, it has a place to live. And my sunglasses, so handy. Why did you do that? <laughs> Right when you get on the ship, if you're hungry, which we were starving, there's two great places, well, a couple places, but I think the best two are the galley, which is just like a big open area with food stalls where you can pick different types of food. They have tacos, ramen, salads, burgers, basically anything you could ever want. The most scenic place to come is the dock, which is right on the back of the ship, deck seven. You can come get a day bed out here and just get yourself comfortable for the sail away party, which would be like the perfect view. But we got some cocktails and some nibbles. Ready to get this party started. Cheers! First cocktail! 
first of many. Very refreshing. The dock is actually a really cool place to come hang out at any point of the day to grab lunch or if you didn't get a reservation at one of the other restaurants. This little spot is unique to the Resilient Lady. Definitely a great place to get a little IG photo op. If you're ever looking for a fun way to pass the time, the social club has so many different fun games that you can come and play all kinds of board games. They have shuffleboard. They have a full arcade with old school video games. This is where Nate and the boys love to hang out. What? Golden Teen, I used to be really good at this. Long time ago. Game? I'm excited. This is like the old school OG version. <laughs> part of your hand gets really beat up if you're ready. This part of your hand gets really beat up for your left. <laughs> Your drills done, unpacked. All there is left to do is to get ready and freshened up because the sail away party starts in an, a little bit less than an hour. And we're walking through the shops. The shopping is bougie on this ship, like, and it's duty free. And I think I'm going the wrong way. Yep, for sure I am. Gotta get to Rich's rooftop for the sail away party. Regardless if you have access to Rich's rooftop or not, you definitely want to be on deck when they sail away because they pass out free champagne and it's definitely such a fun, festive way to send off the voyage. We are sailing now. The sunset is so beautiful. Our first dinner on the cruise is going to be at the Wake. Virgin is a pretty casual cruise line. There's no formal night, but I don't know. I just like to look good on vacation. What can I say? our third virgin voyage we only made reservations this time at our favorite spot so you will see if you pay attention which ones we went to and which ones we left out and that should answer that question after dinner we headed to the red room for persephone which is an all-new show that's on the resilient lady this is based on the greek myth of the goddess persephone it's a musical style show that incorporates very lavish and fun costumes incredible dancing and it really gets the audience involved. You basically stand around the stage and you may be pushed aside by the performers here and there as they get to the stage, but it's all part of it and it's a fully immersive experience. I highly recommend checking this show out. Make sure you don't sleep on the pajama party that happens every virgin voyage on the first night of the sailing. A lot of people like to get matching pajamas for their group like we did last time. The boys recycled theirs and found a new friend. But make sure you bring something fun because there's a pajama party contest. Honey Clark and I are going to choose the top two looks. Miami Vice. Oh my goodness. Okay. Oh, 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 Pajama party is not your thing, you can head down to On the Rocks where they have incredible live music every night. We love the Ohana duo on this voyage, they were incredible. <laughs> Egged on by the drunk man, Megan and Omid decided to take to the dance floor. It was right about now that we started fearing for Megan's safety. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Ryan, do you want to send me to anything? <laughs> 
gonna get a workout in. I signed up for a spin class. My strategy was I didn't want to pack my nice workouts tennis shoes and I knew they provide spin shoes in the studio here so I knew if I did spin workouts I wouldn't have to pack my workout shoes. All right, two turns again to your right. After all that cardio, I needed a little dip in the pool. I will say on sea days make sure you get to the pool early if you want to secure a spot by the pool. If you want to go grab brunch on a sea day, you can do so at The Wake or at Razzle Dazzle. Razzle Dazzle is definitely my favorite of the two because I find their menu is a lot more fun and inventive. I'm trying the bacon at Razzle Dazzle. It's cooked in maple syrup. Mm, so good. try to go up to Richard rooftop to enjoy the hot tub but what we found was it was so windy we could barely walk I thought Megan was gonna get blown away <laughs> Wow I don't think I've ever walked through a wind that was so stiff that I felt like I couldn't walk against it or that I was gonna get blown away. Seriously, I was a little concerned for Megan because she's a tiny little nugget. I'm gonna chill for a little bit in the room. A must while on your virgin voyage is getting some quality quiet hammock time on your own balcony, taking in the view. <laughs> If you're a girl who loves the finer things, you can pick yourself up a pre-loved designer bag from What Goes Around Comes Around down in the shops. They had some beautiful pieces. They also had some fun and informative jewelry demonstrations. They had some beautiful tanzanite pieces in the shop, which apparently tanzanite is even more expensive and rare than a diamond. We may or may not have gotten roped into modeling a couple of these pieces for the other passengers. If you wear it with bright colors like yourself, my love, you will see that bright colors come out. If you wear it with okay. darker like browns like yourself, mm -hmm. The browns will come out. We're modeling for free on our vacation. Smart. We should get to keep them. Obviously. Like one of those like jewelry poses. Like, like, How much do you think this one is? Just guess. Twenty thousand. No, it's more. Thirty-seven. No, more. Forty-nine. No. <laughs> Fifty-six, seven. How fast can I swim away with this on? If I just jump off the ship right now. All decked out in our dress for population. Take your hands down. Charge, charge. Oh, fuck, charge, go on. Action. By the way, if you're looking for what to wear on a cruise, I've got a whole video for that. Check the description box for the link. So we just finished our little photo shoot in the manor hallway. You just kind of sneak into that hallway during the afternoon. It's unlocked and we just shoot a bunch of pictures to our heart's content and no one has ever really been mad about it. So we had the uh, ship staff come and open up the partitions between our adjoining rooms because we're all one room next to each other. So now we have one big long balcony, which is really cool because if you're coming with friends and all of your rooms are right next to each other, you can request to have your balcony partitions open so you can have like one big shared balcony space with the other people that are in your group. You just have to go down to sailor services and there has to be one representative from each cabin that goes down. Oh, 
one view that cannot be beat is the back of the ship at sunset. Just taking in the insanely blue water of the Adriatic Sea is so stunning with the vibrant hues of the sunset. My personal favorite restaurant on board Virgin Voyages is Test Kitchen. Test Kitchen is where science meets food at this experimental fine dining restaurant. You will be served six courses, all very unique and delicious, and I personally recommend going with the wine pairing, though they do have a cocktail pairing, but I'm a wine girl myself. Is it a mushroom? It's a mushroom. 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 It tastes like a mushroom. It's going to be a mushroom. Hey, what am I saying? Here's a little pro tip for you. If you're on a week or longer Virgin Voyage, Test Kitchen has two different menus one they serve in the first half and the second one they rotate in the second half this one that we had was in the first half of the voyage and it's my personal favorite i have now tried both but you can come to test kitchen in the beginning of your voyage and the end to get to try out both menus and i highly recommend that you do that no. oh, that's really rich but i like it Our first port day was in Split, Croatia. I was so excited to get to come to Croatia for the first time. We got off the ship bright and early to explore this incredible city. If you're curious about what we got up to, check the description box for a separate vlog with everything that we did while we were in Split and some tips and tricks for when you're in port here. For our dinner, we headed to another Virgin Voyages favorite, Gun Bay. Gun Bay is the place that you want to go if you want delicious food, but you also want to have a good time. <laughs> Where's our soju? I'm ready to play. Yeah. Ready Ten. to do our drinking game. Okay, one, two, you clap. Four, five, you clap. Gun One. Two. Four. Five. Seven. Eight. Ten. Eleven. Twelve. Fourteen. Fifteen. Seventeen. Eighteen. 21. 22. 25. Right? <laughs> <laughs> There's pop rocks in there. Can you hear it? As a seasoned Gun Bay visitor, I can say everything is delicious, but it's all about the Kalbi beef. That's what everyone at our table wanted. And this is the library, a collection of books from the ships, and any classic owner who is just dear. The night belongs to us. Lola's Library is a fun cabaret style show that you can catch in the manor a couple times during the voyage. It's based on different famous works of fiction and it spans all the genres. I'm going to tell you how to dance with these watermelons in between you. You cannot touch the watermelons and they must not drop on the floor. It was a very interactive and unique show that I definitely recommend checking out. Be warned though, it's a three hour show with three different chapters and between each chapter there's a little bit of an interlude to take a break go get drinks so keep that in mind you can come for just one chapter or a couple but if you want the best seats definitely show up 30 minutes before showtime <laughs> When you get off the ship in Dubrovnik, you'll see shuttle buses that will take you into the main old town. It's a little bit too far to walk. It's only about a 10 minute ride or so, and then you're right at the entrance of the old city. While we were in port, we hiked the old walls, had a delicious lunch, had a really fun Game of Thrones tour, and we finished it off with dinner at the most scenic view of the city. So if you want to see more about that, of course, I will have a link in the description box for that vlog. A couple days into the voyage, one of the crew members gave me the best advice, and that was to wake up early in the morning to watch the ship sail into the Bay of Couture because the views would be absolutely phenomenal. And I'm so glad I listened to them and woke up early because they were right. Definitely don't miss out on this if you're on this voyage. During 
our day in Kotor, we explored the old city with a free walking tour, had some lunch, and then we went on a really fun speedboat tour that took us around the bay to some really beautiful places, including Our Lady of the Rocks and another really cool blue grotto type of cave. So again, if you wanna see more about that, I'll have the link to our day in Kotor vlog linked down below when it is up. Garland night bitches. And they have this fun glam squad situation where they give you some extra sparkles and stuff to get done up. We're gonna get glammed up. Yay. <laughs> we'll put this in the inner corner there. Wow. Nice. That's amazing. Oh, work. <laughs> Love it. Don't forget to pack your best red outfit for Scarlet Night. Before the hottest party night on the voyage, it's always best to load up on some carbs. Oh my god, we're ordering so much food. We're not. At Extra Virgin, it's really hard not to have eyes that are bigger than your stomach. You'll want to try everything. So I recommend ordering family style. That way, everyone can try a little bit of everything without getting too full. You should book this twice when you're on the ship. Okay. Before and after, because then you don't have to like go crazy. I have a reservation you know what I mean? for tomorrow at 9 p.m. You just enjoy a little bit of it. I mean, back -back she likes the carbonara. This gnocchi is where it's at for me. Oh yeah. are a little tired today because it's garlic night last night. That is the one thing about this cruise is the day after Scarlet night is not a sea day, which is usually ideal to sort of recover. We're gonna have a little bit of a recovery on land and we're going to check out a beach club, do a little relaxing. In Corfu, there's a port shuttle that will take you to the shuttle station where you can get on the Virgin shuttle that will take you into the old city of Corfu. From the drop-off point, it's just a short walk through a little bit of the old city to get to Imabari, which is such a little oasis in Corfu. This spot can get pretty busy in the summer, so it's a good idea to book your table in advance, especially if you want to be on the front row right on the water. Yeah. We made it! Yeah. We have little front row seats to the water. I need a cocktail, I need to let my sunscreen dry, and then I'm gonna go for a swim. The water looks so clear and so nice. 
We loved our time at Imabari. It was the perfect thing to do in Corfu if you just need a little time to rest and recharge. The food was delicious, the service was incredible, and of course the swimming was so nice. Nate and I having a little dirty dancing moment. Beware if you are on the front row, when the ferries come through, the waves can be pretty crazy. It is rude not to take Richard's future. Thank you, Richard. Up here on the babe's deck now. We are on the babe's deck. There's one bro, one bro and one babe up here. We got another cruise ship right here. There's children on that ship. I think I'll stay away. Thank you very much. Miss you. Enjoying another glorious Adriatic sunset. Thank you. Cheers! Cheers. Oh, cheers. <laughs> oh my god! Perfect timing. As we promised, we went for round two at Extra Virgin so we could try more of the menu. But this time we got the affogato for dessert, and you have to do it. They make it table side and they add all the little ingredients that you want, and it's perfect. Is it good? Uh oh. Who's next? Y'all too? I advise you with a lemon jello shot, sir. Please, thank you very much. <laughs> what is happening right now? They're making their own thing. I got iced. What is the thing? It's a short ice. Icing. I iced him with the limoncello shot. Does that make sense? No? What? Did he do it? Yes, he did. Why did I just witness? Uh, Instead of a show tonight, we decided to make our own fun on the ship, and trust me, there's plenty to be had all over the ship. The social club is always a sure bet because they have karaoke and the arcade that everyone loves. Well, he made a mistake. He no, he doesn't. Oh. I told you he fucked up. Never go after him. Finally doing this VHS workout. I literally just woke up like 30 minutes ago and decided this is a go today. I've never done this class. I've always wanted to do it. This is the 80s-ish look that I managed to have with me. So let's do this. Let's get physical. If you're looking to get a little movement in that's fun, the HS dance workout is perfect. Make sure you have good aerobic shoes and comfortable clothes. Oh, Hello! Good morning, everybody! really fun. It's pretty easy, cruelty wise. The intensity level is pretty low in half, I would say, so not gonna be like a hit workout, but a fun like vacation workout, you know? I can't come on a virgin cruise and not take advantage of the Redemption Spa. If you want to come and just use their thermal rooms, you can come down and buy a pass for a three hour time slot, or you can just really indulge and book yourself a treatment as well. Why not? It's always nice on the last day, or the last sea day, or the day after Scarlet Night to come down to the Redemption Spa and use the thermal uh, rooms. And just have a little zen, relaxing moment. I am sweating my butt off, so I probably should get out of this sauna uh, before I completely melt into a bottle. But I like to sit in the little portholes and just look at the water go by. It's very, very relaxing. relaxation in the spa and now I'm gonna head to the dry dock. I need some help with my hair. One thing I love about Virgin Ships is they have the hair salon on board. If you want to just come and get a blowout and have someone else do your hair and make it look fantastic, you can. Or you can get a full-on cut and color too if you'd like. So much better. Love it, thank you. Hey babe, where are we going? Scotch, scotch, scotch. I love scotch. <laughs> If you love shopping duty free, they have booty free on board the ship and the boys have made it somewhat of a tradition to buy a rare Macallan bottle that they can't get elsewhere. 
and to try it out on the last day of the voyage because when you buy it, they will basically give it to you a couple hours before the evening of the last day. We're gonna enjoy this tonight. What's so uh, special about this Macallan? It is a traveler's exclusive edition. You can't really get it anywhere else unless you're duty free or abroad. Really want to try it? Wood spices, vanilla oak. Also an exquisite marriage of three select types of European and American oak and sherry seasoned casks, which is what makes it so beautiful. Oh. oh. <laughs> it's another unforgettable trip. Yeah, I, I do think it does need some ice cream to go with it. Oh I'll be right back. Brown butter. Finance their ice cream with this scotch. Oh. Never knew that ice cream and scotch went so well together. <laughs> now that I've had a little Macallan, ice cream. I decided to come down to the dock. Uh, they do OPA hour between 4 and 6. They offer a different food menu that is more Greek food inspired. Um, so I haven't really checked it out this entire time. Oh, this week went by way too fast. We're in line for the End of the Rose dinner that we booked. It's a dinner show here on the cruise, which is new. I did hear it's all you can drink. Like so. Two hour show and dinner. Food is the best on the ship in this ship. Yeah, according to some people. Yeah. It's $50 a person. I'm gonna see if this is worth the 50 bucks. Yeah, we'll report back and let you know. We're all here. Why do we get roses? According to well, where you sit. Hey, <laughs> thank you. When you arrive, you'll receive a flower pin that's in a color according to where you're sitting, whether that's the front row, the middle section, or the balcony. And then there are people awaiting to give you a specialty cocktail of your choice. Cheers! You all have a seat. Good job. Food and drink will be coming at you very fast and it's going to be leaving just as fast. So when your food arrives, eat it. Now, if I'm being truly honest, was this worth the $50? Let's start with the food. It was okay, but I don't think it was any better than some of the food at Extra Virgin or Test Kitchen or The Wake. Uh, the show was fun, I guess, but I didn't really understand what was going on and neither did the rest of our group. But then there was technical difficulties midway through the show, which meant that they had to go sort of acapella. Needless to say, we all got refunded our $50, but unfortunately I can't really give you a full answer on whether or not I really recommend this show, but based on what we did experience, I would say save your 50 bucks. After that lackluster experience, we finally went and experienced the groupie. I cannot tell you how embarrassing it is, but I could not find this place on my first two voyages across from the upstairs entrance of the red room sign up for a time slot to have your own little private karaoke room with your crew <laughs> this was honestly such a fun end of the night activity especially if you have people in your group who are not comfortable getting up and singing karaoke in front of other people they don't know but we just sang our little hearts out for hours on end and had the best time clearly is such sweet sorrow. It is just about time for us to get off the ship. We had so much fun last night. Trippy though. I can't believe we've never done that on any of our other voyages. That was so much fun. Definitely do not sleep on going to the groupie at least once on your voyage. It's been an epic week as it always is on Virgin Voyages. If you're interested in seeing some other experiences that we had, I'll put my video for when we were on The Valiant Lady in the Mediterranean on the French Days of Bees and Nights itinerary last summer and the Caribbean Valiant Lady cruise that we did last January down in the description box so you can go check those out next if you would like. I also have a full video all about Virgin Voyages, everything that you should know before you go on your first Virgin Voyages cruise. I'll also link that down in the description box. And as they become ready, I'll put some of our fun port vlogs and adventures here on the side. So make sure to subscribe if you're not already. I would absolutely love it if you all would join my YouTube fam. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. I'll see you all on over on one of these fun port vlogs. And if not, I'll see you on the next one. Bye.